question is with reference to National Quantum Mission, NQM, recently approved by Union Cabinet, consider the following statements. 1. India will be the third country to have a dedicated quantum mission after the US and China. 2. The mission involves a cost to 6,003.65 crore rupees from 2023 to 1924 to 2030 to 1931. 3. The mission will help develop magnetometers with high sensitivity in atomic systems and atomic clocks for precision timing communications and navigation. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is 1. D. India will be the seventh country to have a dedicated quantum mission after the US, Austria, Finland, France, Canada and China. It will also support design and synthesis of quantum materials such as superconductors, novel semiconductor structures and topological materials for fabrication of quantum devices. Four thematic hubs, T-hubs, will be set up in top academic and national research and development institutes on the domains quantum computing, quantum communication, quantum sensing and metrology, and quantum materials and devices. The hubs which will focus on generation of new knowledge through basic and applied research as well as promote R&D in areas that are mandated to them. The mission would greatly benefit communication, health, financial and energy sectors as well as drug design and space applications. Question is what is a civil union? 1. A civil union refers to the legal status that allows same-sex couples specific rights and responsibilities normally conferred upon married couples. 2. In 1989, Finland was the first country to legalize civil unions for same-sex couples. 3. While civil unions are often established for both opposite-sex couples and same-sex couples, in a number of countries they are available to same-sex couples only. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is B. In 1989, Denmark was the first country to legalize civil unions for same-sex couples. Question is as per the Indian Meteorological Department, IMD, Criteria for heat waves are 1. Heat wave need not be considered till maximum temperature of a station reaches at least 45 degrees Celsius for plains and at least 35 degrees Celsius for hilly regions. 2. When normal maximum temperature of a station is less than or equal to 40 degrees Celsius heat wave departure from normal is 5 degrees Celsius to 6 degrees Celsius severe heat wave departure from normal is 7 degrees Celsius or more. 3. When normal maximum temperature of a station is more than 40 degrees Celsius heat wave departure from normal is 4 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius severe heat wave departure from normal is 6 degrees Celsius or more. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is D. Heat wave need not be considered till maximum temperature of a station reaches at least 40 degrees Celsius for plains and at least 30 degrees Celsius for hilly regions. When actual maximum temperature remains 45 degrees Celsius or more irrespective of normal maximum temperature, heat waves should be declared. Higher daily peak temperatures and longer, more intense heat waves are becomingly increasingly FRE question isn't globally due to climate change. India too is feeling the impact of climate change in terms of increased instances of heat waves which are more intense in nature with each passing year, 
and have a devastating impact on human health thereby increasing the number of heat wave casualties. Question is with reference to International Court of Justice, ICJ, consider the following statements. One commonly known as the World Court is the principal judicial organ of the United Nations. To the idea for the creation of an international court to arbitrate international disputes arose during an international conference held at The Hague in 1899. Three, the ten judges of the court are elected by the General Assembly and the Security Council voting independently. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. One and two only. B. One and three only. C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only Answer is A. The 15 judges of the court are elected by the General Assembly and the Security Council voting independently. Question is consider the following statements about death, golden, crescent, death, golden, triangle and silver triangle. 1. The Golden Crescent is the global hub for production and trafficking of narcotics and comprises the illicit opium cultivation areas in Iran, Afghanistan and Pakistan. 2. Golden Triangle countries in Southeast Asia comprising parts of Myanmar, Thailand, the Lao People's Democratic Republic and Vietnam is a formidable zone. 3. The Silver Triangle comprises India, Nepal and Bangladesh. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. Answer is C. The famous Golden Triangle countries in Southeast Asia comprising parts of Myanmar, Thailand, the Lao People's Democratic Republic and Vietnam is a formidable zone. Chinese traders used to buy opium by paying in gold. Hence, the area came to be known as the Golden Triangle. The original Golden Triangle is an area about 150,000 sq miles, extending from Myanmar's Chin Hills in the west, north into China's Yunnan province, east into Laos, and Thailand's northwestern provinces, and south into Myanmar's Kaya state. Though the area under cultivation has shrunk in size, it still continues to be one of the leading suppliers of all kinds of narcotic drugs. The Triangle of Death in Italy refers to the Sicilian connection, the intercontinental drug chain stretching from the poppy fields of Southwest Asia to the docks and airports of New York, Boston and Miami. The Golden Triangle refers to the drug circuit covering Goa de Tel Aviv. Recently, a new addition known as the Golden Wedge has emerged covering the northern areas of Bangladesh, the Indian states of Himachal Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh and extending into Nepal and stretching up to Bhutan. Question is with reference to digital highways, consider the following statements. 1. The digital highway is a dynamic and real-time description of the physical and operational characteristics of nation's highways that positively affects the performance, efficiency, safety, security, and comfort of drivers. 2. The digital highway is the backbone that supports the concept of the intelligent highway TRNSR exportation system of the future. 3. The information contained in the digital highway database can be used to support future research in a wide range of TRNSR exportation areas. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is C. Question is with reference to Coastal Cities Coalition to fight marine litter crisis consider the following statements about. 1. Launched by all state governments with state boundary having coasts. 2. About 80% of marine litter comes from land-based mismanagement of solid waste that reaches the ocean bed through various land-to-sea pathways. 3. Plastic accounts for 90% of all the waste that ends up in the marine ecosystem. 
which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is D. Launched by Center for Science and Environment, CSE. India's 7,517 kilometers coastline across 9 states and 66 coastal districts is home to about 250 million people. India is the world's second largest fish producing country with about 250,000 fishing boats, 4,000,000 fisher folk and 3,600 fishing villages. India's coastline also has a rich biodiversity protected by about 4,120 kilometers stretch of mangroves. One of the key challenges faced by the global marine ecosystem is abandoned, lost or discarded fishing gear, ALDFG. A large part of ALDFG is lost in deep seas, making it difficult to recover. India loses 15,276 tons of gillnets annually, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization. Another significant source of marine litter is tourism. Most of the waste from beaches comprises multilayered and low-value plastics, polystyrene, plastic products like cutlery and carry bags and cigarette butts. Question is what are the factors responsible for milk prices rising in India? One, a jump in the cost of cereals has made cattle feed more expensive. Two, lower dairy yields as cows were inadequately fed due to the pandemic rupturing demand at the time. Three, lumpy skin disease, a deadly viral infection, assumed epidemic proportions last year and is estimated to have killed nearly 185,000 cows and buffaloes in eight states. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is C. Rise in cost of production. Rise in animal feed prices. Adverse weather. Disease. COVID. Exports.